Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Cam, and I wanted to talk to you about my uh, recent product launch, the Affiliate Command up everybody zero fats here aka cam jennings coming at you on behalf of epicconversions.com and it is probably right now i guess about 35 minutes away from the launch of probably the biggest uh product launch of my career so as you're watching this video it will have already launched but for me where i'm at right now i have no idea if it's going to succeed or not i know i put together a really good course um, I know I put, put a funnel in place that's a lot different than what normal people do. Um, as a result, um, a lot of affiliates are going to hang back and watch. They're not going to try to promote for me, which is cool. It's just business. I can dig that. But, you know, I always try to take chances. I always try to do things a little bit differently. Um, I know I got a great product. Um, I know I got an unusual price point. Uh, but I'm excited. I slept good last night. I think that's a good sign. I didn't toss and turn. Um, this park is funny, man. I was reading in the paper the other day that my, my city, Springfield, Ohio, is, uh, is at the lowest population it's been at. And I'm just gonna go out here. It's, been, it's at the lowest population it's been at since 1910. The lowest since 1910. And uh. And all around this town, you can see little pockets of brightness around this town of dinginess, you know, because it's kind of a kind of a crappy place. It doesn't have a lot going for it. Not a lot of people come to Springfield, Ohio, who don't live here. It's kind of a crappy place. About 60,000 people. Um, but all around here, you see like little pockets of brightness where uh, the city has tried to make it better, you know. <laughs> And uh, this little park in the middle of town here is one of those little uh, spots, you know. You see the trees. It's a great place to come in the middle of town. I actually have an office just like a block or two away from here. So it's easy for me to come here and hang out when I'm getting like, man, kind of stressed out. Um, it's weird, man. I'm not stressed out right now. I feel good. I should be stressed out right now. I'm launching in like a half hour. But I'm not really stressed out. I'm feeling okay right now, man. I'll be honest with you. I feel like I feel like whatever happens, I will have an answer for it. I've done everything I could do to make this, you know, to make this a great product launch. About a week ago, when I started reaching out to affiliates, I figured out that I wasn't going to get a lot of affiliate help. Um, 
I decided to focus my energy more on my audience and less on pulling affiliates in, you know? I chose to invest my time in my audience and not in affiliate support. And that was a decision I made. Um, so if that fails me, if uh, things don't work out the way I wanted them to, hey, I just, I just feel like I can't lose, man. I feel like I can't lose, you know? But I feel like, uh, but I feel like this will succeed. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Something's in the newspaper here going on today. This is the thing, man. About a half hour until I launched this thing. Get this. 25 million rise in uninsured forecast. 23 million. Man, ain't that something. What a mess. Hey, what is up everybody? Zero Fats here, aka Cam Jennings, coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. And I'm going to be launching the affiliate command here. Coming up this morning in just a couple minutes, man. I'm going to launch this thing in just a couple minutes. Um, so I'm excited about that. Here we are on the sales page, affiliate command sales page. Just a few seconds left. Just a few seconds left. We're gonna get this thing started up, man. It's been a long week. It's been a good week. We've put in a lot of good work, and uh, you know we'll see how it goes. Should be an interesting weekend. Boom, and there we go. There we went live. What's up? What's up? I'm out here in my local mall, Springfield, Ohio. Uh, it is pretty much dead, honestly. This is the closed movie theater behind me. You can see there's no, there's no movies. It's closed. Yeah, man, it's closed down. Matter of fact, the cars you see in the parking lot, most of these people are employees here. There's not a lot of people actually coming to this mall anymore whole thing's probably gonna close down pretty soon uh, I come out here to walk sometimes get a little exercise in and uh, man you know like when you launch these products it don't do any good to sit at your computer and uh, you know wait around and track sales constantly not to me man I'll wait around for about a little while see if there's any immediate problems any immediate support and I just man I'll go find something else to do for a little while uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to head back now just check in on things make a little content um, just kind of keep interest up throughout the day basically you know keep an interest up throughout the day uh, keep people interested in what I'm doing um, it's kind of like kind of reminds me of being on a kayak in the White Rapids River or something you know yeah you're just kind of navigating the rapids today you know what I mean it's the dirt under his fingernails kind of thing and you know, from that perspective, I think. <clears throat> I mean, you can make a good product, and uh, and it's cool, and it's great. I can make the best product possible, but um, that's only half the battle. The other half is marketing, and you got to engage your audience, uh, and you got to keep them engaged, and uh, and keep that buzz going around your product. So that's what I got to do now. That's my challenge for the next four days. And uh, just getting everything set up here, um, I'm going to record a uh, live video on that whiteboard in uh, just a few minutes here. It's going to be a Facebook live stream, um, and then I'm going to take that video and I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. Um, it's, it's really for my YouTube channel, but I'm going to do it on the Facebook live stream just because... You know, it gives more interactivity on Facebook too. Kind of keeps that pot stirring a little bit. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, anyways, I want to talk to you guys today. This is State of Zero, episode 42. All right, so we're going to be talking about blogging today. It's about uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Gonna get some food for my family. Um, day one of the product launch is uh, well, it's, it's almost over. I'm into the evening here, and uh, I will say um, a little less than I wanted. 
um, a little less than expected. The good news is the the the, the reverse self funnel is working, um, but overall, um, not as many units pushed as I would like. Um, now revenue is a different story. Revenue is pretty awesome. Revenue is almost a thousand dollars in revenue today, about what it would be if I was launching a product at normal prices. So that's good. Um, the problem is, you know, I'm just not meeting my goals. So that's the main problem. And I, um, I need to figure out how to improve that. I got to figure out how to change things. I need to figure out how to change the narrative of this story. So that's where I got to be a clever marketer and, and figure out what I'm, what I'm doing to change things. So it's game on. We'll see. Abandoned building, failing businesses, and beautiful fountain. There's a closed movie theater, been closed for a long time. Um, yesterday was crazy, man. I lost my, I lost my mind yesterday. Basically, what happened was. When that product launch started, like maybe I sold a couple units, like 11 minutes in, I was like, sweet, this reverse sales funnel is working. And then it started slowing way down throughout the day, man. And I think throughout the day I sold like maybe 16 or 18 units, maybe, but only like four front end units. The rest of it was through the funnel, which I guess that was good in a way because it, it told me that the funnel was working but it just wasn't the kind of numbers that I was looking for. I mean, I, I, was, I had a goal of 25 units on the front end. I got four on the front end. So I was like, I don't know, man, I just lost my mind. Um, I don't know. I guess I was closer to this project than I thought I was. I guess I put a lot into it. Uh, I just put a lot into it, man. Just three months of effort and work and um, I don't know man, I just I felt like it was just tanking, it was crashing and burning. And I had several people tell me that, oh dude, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. Um, you're just gonna be wasting traffic if you do that. So I was like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Um, I know what I'm doing. So I was like, I kinda had that stance of, you can have your opinion, I'll have mine. Um, and we'll see who, we'll see what happens. But when I saw yesterday that like it didn't look like it was going my way and you know I just I don't know man it just it just made me mad but it's cool I regrouped and I'm moving on because even if this whole thing falls apart it crashes and burns and I was wrong at least I gave it a shot and the only way for me to say yes I gave that a shot is if I um, push as hard as I can for the next three days so I don't know, this is day two, and uh, I woke up, and uh, I don't know, I haven't looked at my numbers yet at all today, uh, I haven't even looked at anything, I said I'm not going to look at anything until I get to the office, so I'm not going to mess with it, the whole situation frustrated me yesterday, I'll be honest with you, so we'll see, we'll see what happens today. This was yesterday. This was today. Here we go, it's game, it's game on. Day two. Um, looks like I did win a deal of the day award today. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Free Mimity webinar reveals his passive income secrets. Deal of the day. So it looks like on day two, I earned a deal of the day award. What's up? What's up? What's up? Just got back from lunch here on day two. Uh, I'll tell you guys what's going on. Um, so with affiliate command, um, look, like I said, it's cool that I got deal of the day today. That's awesome. But right now, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what's going on. Okay, so here we go. Here's day two. 
So far, 2,007 visitors have seen the affiliate commands sales page. Okay? Now, look, a thousand of those came in pre launch week, but still, over a thousand people, over a thousand people uh, have seen the sales page since it launched. Only six people have bought the front end product, 17 have bought that first down sell. So, what that tells me right now is, is number one, not enough people are seeing the down sell product. And number two, people just aren't familiar enough with me to, to spend $197 on it. Um, you know, I think that the reverse sales funnel in its current form is not right. It definitely needs adjusted. Um, I need to put more of an emphasis on this light version of the course. I need to I need to put it out there on the front. It's time to adjust my sales page. All right, I'm absolutely like freaking broken hearted uh, that this launch is flopping like this because I put so much work into the product and I just put my heart and soul into it but I can't think with emotions right now I need to think with cool hard logic and be a fuck be a freaking marketer all right and my marketing my marketing brain tells me it's time to adjust the sales page that I'm wasting traffic right now I'm bleeding traffic so what I need to do is I need to adjust the sales page. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to adjust the sales page, then I'm going to start putting my free content out on Facebook and to my YouTube channel and uh, to my email list, and we'll see what happens. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Zero Fats here, a.k.a. Cam Jennings. Hope everybody's doing amazing out there on this fine, fine Saturday afternoon. Yeah, Saturday afternoon. It is Memorial Day weekend. I'm chilling, just trying to get a little work done. I'm gonna spend some time with my family this afternoon once I get out of here. But for now, I'm hanging out at the office. I wanted to give you guys some value uh, today. Uh, I wanted to talk about influences and mentors and people that help us, you know. And sometimes, like, I'll read about other people and see who they learned from. And then I'll discover new people I didn't know about. And then I'll go learn from those people too. So that could be pretty awesome. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about some of the people I've learned a lot from um, in hopes that maybe, um, you know, if you didn't know about those people, maybe you can go check them out and learn some cool stuff from them as well. It is about 3.37 p.m. on Saturday. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm editing, I'm editing that live video because I want to put it on YouTube, try to maximize my reach. Once I put it on YouTube, I'm actually going to email my list and let them and send them to watch that this video. I think it'll provide some good value for them and hopefully it'll drive some more traffic to my uh, my uh, product because I do pitch my product in this video. So cool, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, and time goes by fast when you're busy, don't it? It's just crazy. All right, it's about 5.30 p.m. I'm getting out of this freaking office, man. And uh, yeah, it's been another long day. Uh, I don't know. I've done some things, changed my sales page a little bit. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll help a little bit. I see I got I got a couple more sales after changing the sales page, but uh, it was just the the, uh, the the economic light version of the course. Um, I think that uh, you know, I don't know. There's a little damage control. Try not to waste all that traffic, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I added a, a bonus to the download page, a uh, really nice bonus called Content Fuel. I created it today. It's a, like a whole little product, um, and it's got PLR rights attached to it. It's unbranded, so you know anybody can use it. To, they can sell it. They can uh, put it in their membership sites. They can um, put it uh, like on their YouTube channel or whatever they want to do with it. So that's pretty cool. I think that's going to add a lot of value for people. But it's it's kind of funny because value is not the problem with Affiliate Command 2017. Um, the problem is mostly this um, uh, the funnel's different. You know, it's got a different kind of funnel. People aren't used to seeing that uh, high priced offer on the front. It's a great product. It, it's an award winning product now. It, it was awarded deal of the day today. So that's great. But. Um, I don't know. It, it just hasn't sold like I wanted it to. So, 
I'm not done yet though. Um, it's still two days left in this launch, so I'm gonna see what I can do. But it, it, there's been a lot of traffic go through the sales page, and you know, it, it's uh, it just hasn't performed like I wanted it to. So we'll have to just uh, see. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? It's about 12:35 a.m. Um, I'm just wrapping up day two here. You know. Um, I, I kind of left the office, came home, spent some time with my family, and uh, now they're asleep, and I'm just sitting here checking my numbers, just kind of looking at everything, what's up. I did a little update on my uh, affiliate contest. As you can see, this is the Warrior Plus Network. Uh, you can see uh, Affiliate Command 2017 is coming in at number four. Uh, let me show you guys current numbers. Um, So you see, uh, I finished the day up at $1,078 in, in revenue, um, 541 paid to affiliates, thousand over 1000 in revenue, uh, a few more sales today than yesterday, um, a lot more visitors though, a lot more visitors, man, and that was from that deal of the day, I got the deal of the day award today. That's a little site you probably have heard of. So we go down here, we click click here to get started. It says you have two options. The complete package, boom, right there. And then or the less in-depth, more economic version. Right? So there's two options now. It's a little different. I, I changed the sales page to look a little bit different uh, than what it was. And I think that um what happened from that was I um I basically inspired more people to buy the smaller package. So we sold eight, eight of the main offer over the last two days. Eight of the main offer has been sold. I mean, it's just not very good. I mean, I was hoping to sold fifty of the main offer by now. I've sold eight. So if you think I'm seeming a little bit bummed, I mean, that's that's probably why. Um, you know, it's. It is what it is, man. I just keep on adjusting, keep on, you know, I adjusted my sales page. Uh, that, that garnered more uh, more units uh, of, the, of the low ticket offer. Um, and, um, you know, I just keep on, keep on fighting. I put a bonus out today. I'll put another bonus out tomorrow, and I'll just keep on fighting. I'm getting ready to send an email out before I go to bed tonight. Um, and uh, and we'll keep on fighting these next two days and see what we can do. Um, it's probably not going to live up to the expectations I had for it. That's the that's the that's just the, the way it is. Um, and I'll just I'll regroup and I'll, I'll look at the numbers when this is all over and we'll see how it goes. All right. What's up, guys? This is day three of my product launch. Um, I'm getting ready to head to the grocery store, pick up some. Here at the supermarket, just picking out some, uh, just picking out some groceries and stuff. Picking up some odds and ends for my family. Maple granola, dairy-free yogurt. Kids love this stuff. Better make sure you check an expiration date. Uh, I just found four of them that are expired. It's ridiculous. Check this out real quick. So a dozen eggs, 98 cents. Uh, roll over here. dozen eggs free range free range 397 freedom tastes better <laughs> it should definitely cost more that's for sure I'm at the second grocery store for the morning <laughs> and this one is the last one and I'm headed on back to the house and I'm done <laughs> time to head on home I mean, you never believe what happened
happened to me in there. So I was like, I got the cheese, vegan cheese, because my family doesn't eat dairy. For the most part, we don't eat dairy. Uh, and then I remember I needed to get this ranch dressing, vegan ranch dressing. They put it with the regular ranch dressing. So I had to go across the store to get this ranch dressing, and uh, this song starts coming on the overhead intercom music. I've been thinking about you. What should I do? What can I do? I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. <laughs> you know? So I start thinking about this song when it's playing. You know? And I'll be damned if by the time I didn't get over to the aisle with the ranch dressing, I forgot what I went over there for. I was like looking around this aisle like a fool. Like, what did I come over here for? It was crazy. It was so bad. I was like halfway back to the registers, like thinking like, I don't know what I came over there for. I'm just gonna, I guess, whatever, man. I just have to forget about it. And I was walking back to the register, trying to retrace my footsteps like Sherlock Holmes, you know? Finally, I figured it out. Damn, I need ranch dressing. Then I went back there and got it. But it was crazy, man. I mean, unreal. I need to get a brain supplement or something. Something to help me with my memory, because that is ridiculous. Um, it's been emotional. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you're doing these product launches, you can't be emotional. You can't get personal about it. I mean, you got to be a killer, man. That's just all there is to it. You got, you know, you got to be a killer. <clears throat> It is Sunday, May 28, 2017. It is 11.44 a.m. Um, Philly Command 2017, setting in third place on the Warrior Plus Network. As you can see, I'm still setting on Deal of the Day up here, and that is because I was awarded Deal of the Day on a Saturday. They don't do Deal of the Day on Sunday, so I get, I get that spot right there all day for two days which is amazing man let's look uh what's going on so far we see today five sales um a thousand and nine visitors right that's horrible that's absolutely horrible that is horrible over a thousand visitors and five sales man that that's ridiculous <sighs> I'm gonna have to adjust something. I'm just, I just, I'm just wasting tons and tons of traffic. So, hey, what's up, you guys? It is about 2:24 uh, 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 p.m. I, uh, I see I've moved up into second place on the Warrior Plus market here. All right, so as you see, second place Warrior Plus market moving up a little bit here. Um, we get to uh, vendors. We see we're at 686 today. 258 paid out to affiliates, 13 sales. Um, yeah, that's where it's at, man. That, that's that's what that's what's up so far today. We'll see. We'll see. I'm getting ready to send another email out to my list. I just added an extra bonus. Uh, if we look on Facebook here, just did a little live stream talking about the Garrison of Goodwill. Garrison of Goodwill is the second bonus that I added to my uh, my download page this week. Um, so it is. Uh, it's right now. It's it's. It's all about, um, right now, it's all about um, adding value to my download page, even though there's a ton of value inside Affiliate Command. Uh, right now, it's all about adding more value, and it's it's not about like, oh my god, I'm adding all this value, look at all this value. It's it's kind of an information dump, to be honest. There's, there's, there's enough value inside Affiliate Command. But the reason I'm adding more value, I, I added more another piece of content yesterday with PLR rights. I added another piece of content today with PLR rights. The reason I'm adding them is because of the simple fact that uh, you know I want something fresh to talk about every single day, right? It's it's a way for me to keep the spotlight on me, right? Because this is my launch week and people are launching products every day. The only way I maintain spotlight on my my launch is by doing new things every day to make it new every day. Yeah, what's up? This is about 5 o'clock p.m. Compared to a normal product launch, uh, it's about average for me. Um, as far as like 
uh, revenue generated. It's about average. Um, downside so far, a lot less people put on my email list, uh, so that's not good. Um, a lot less affiliates promoting, that's not good. The reverse sales funnel, I think it's a cool idea, um, but for it to be successful, some it definitely needs some adjustments, you know. And it's kind of leaving a bad taste in my mouth right now. I don't know if I'm the one that's going to be making those adjustments. I might just have to go back to the standard traditional sales funnel. Um, you know, I lose too much money with this kind of nonsense. It's ridiculous. Um, so averaging, I don't know, man, probably about a thousand dollars a day or something. So at the end of four days, probably about four thousand um, dollars. Not really that good considering how much time and effort I put into it, considering the 11 week coaching that I still need to uh, spend my time doing. Um, it was a flop, dude. It was a straight flop. I mean, there's one more day left on this thing, but I mean, how the hell do you flop with a deal of the day? I mean, I, I got a deal of the day. I got a deal of the day, you know, and I'm venting a little bit here. So, you know, forgive me. But I got a deal of the day on Saturday. That's the most valuable deal of the day you can get. That means I got a deal of the day all day Saturday. Deal of the day all day Sunday. This shit's it's ridiculous, man. Can't believe it. As a whole, huh, I'll tell you something. I can't wait to be done with this product launch. I can't wait to just get back to normal product launches. I can't stick this one in my sales funnel fast enough. Basically... Basically, I had a goal for this product launch to hit about $10,000 in revenue. Um, it's probably gonna be about 4,000, so about 40% of the goal. I got one more day. You know, I've done a lot of marketing today for this thing. I'm gonna do some more marketing tomorrow for it, but it's definitely an uphill battle, and I definitely think I'm gonna fall a little short probably. Um, not trying to be pessimistic about anything, but you know, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world, but uh, it's definitely not gonna uh, meet, it's not gonna live up to expectations. And uh, you know, it's on me, it's on me. So um, do better next time, you know, do better next time. And um, uh, you know, I'm already working on my next product launch, I'm already working on my next one, and uh, and it'll definitely be some changes <laughs> that's for sure it'll definitely be a different a different look than what this is so a.m. just getting here to the office this is day four of my product launch the last day um, you know the, the product launch didn't li live up to my expectations but there there are several breakthroughs that I made on this product launch that I cannot uh, ignore you know uh, one of those uh, just being a way to uh, you know do things faster it's a way to get things done a little bit faster than I have in the past uh, and that's a huge breakthrough uh, for me um, and uh, also, the EPCs weren't really that bad. You know, the EPCs on the product launch were like 70, 76 cents, 80 cents uh, earnings per click. So they weren't that bad. Uh, for a product with a $197 front end, that wasn't that bad. Um, so I think this is a situation where just living inside that product for like three months, uh, just spending so much time on it, I think I got a little too close to the product. And uh, I just had these larger than life expectations that were probably unrealistic. It, they were just unrealistic. And uh, I just, like, there was no way I wasn't going to be disappointed on this product launch. There was just no way. I mean, my expectations were just larger than life. Um, so I need to look on the positives, the bright sides of it. And it was cool, man. It was cool. Um, 
it was fine. It was fine. I don't think um, just heading into day four here, and I'm not done. But my thoughts on it right now, uh, I don't think this reverse sales funnel is good for for newer people. Um, if you're a new guy out there and you're seeing my numbers and you're thinking, man, a thousand bucks a day, man, I'd like to be able to do that. I mean, just to, just understand that I had to work my ass off for that money. Like I, I had to really pull some marketing tricks to uh, make that happen. And uh, you know, many times. I think it probably would have been more if I would have had a traditional sales funnel, put it that way. I think that like, you know, if I had more affiliates on board, had a traditional sales funnel, I probably would have made more money. So um, I don't think the reverse sales funnel is necessarily bad, but I think it's hard. I think it's it's a hard way to do things. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, but I, I, at the same time, uh, I, I don't I don't discourage any new people out there from trying things. I mean, try things, take your shots. You know, uh, I'm not going to stop being creative. That's for sure. That's just who I am. That's that's what I'm about. I like to be creative, and I try, like to try different things, and I like to think outside the box, and uh, you know, I like my stuff to look a little different than everybody else's stuff. Um, I'm not going to stop doing that. But I do think that there's a time to kind of take your artist hat off. And kind of really put your business hat on. So, um, you know, I, I had a, I had an idea here. I had a, had a theory, and uh, you know, it just wasn't quite as successful as I wanted it to be. Uh, not to say that it was bad, um, but you know, and there's tons of variables. Maybe this works better at like a lower price point. You know, what if my front end was forty seven dollars, and uh, then I went down from there. You know. Who knows? I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. But that, those are just some of my thoughts going, going into day four here, the last day of the product launch. Feeling a lot better about it today, you know. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is, man. Um, you know, you take your shots and you move on, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you take a shot in the mouth and you move on. Um, this wasn't necessarily that. I think it, it did about what a normal product launch would do for me. Um, but maybe a little bit less. So I don't know. Let's let's take a look at the numbers here for day four because I haven't even looked at them yet. These are this is my last day of the launch. You know, at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, this launch will be over. Um, and we see we got eight sales here, $678 in revenue, $332 paid to affiliates. Um, so that's where we stand right now. I plan on adding another bonus to the uh, to the download page today. And as you can see here, kind of like I was talking about this yesterday, 37.17, um, probably clear 4,000 today. Uh, I'll be sending another email out to my list today, and um, and uh, I'll be putting some stuff on social media, and we'll see. I see I got 10 people who want to be affiliates for this product. Let's take a look at them. Let's see what's up. See these people in blue? They're not bad, right? Mid-level guys. See these people in red? They got problems with like refund rates. Look at that. 12.3% refund rate over 100 sales. Mm, it's not too good. But, you know, I mean, it just depends. And these people who aren't uh, these people who aren't ranked yet, they're new. They're new people, and, uh, and if they don't tell me something stupid in the comment section, usually I'll approve them. Focus on list building, so this would be a great product for me to promote. Uh, we'll let him go. I can promote any media stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, man. Hi, I want to promote your new product. I'm seeing its exposure. Uh, I know how to promote it well, so what I'll do to promote this, SEO, Google and Bing ads. This dude wants to promote Google and Bing ads. He's not even ranked, man. He probably doesn't know what he's doing, so I, I don't know what he's up to. Um, anyway, that's it for now. These other cats will just have to wait. You know, I might have to deny some of these dudes. But anyways, last day of the product launch. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I need to... Change this stuff over. Gonna turn the heater off real quick. Unplug it. I wanna. I wanna go grab some lunch, man. I gotta put a. I gotta put a bonus on this. Uh, I gotta put a bonus on this product for today. And I'll be honest with you guys. I, I didn't. I didn't actually plan today's bonus. I got the first two planned, and I wasn't sure what the plan for the third one. 
And now I'm kind of like sitting here on the last day and I kind of need a third, I kind of need, need a third bonus, man. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab something to eat, man. Figure out about this third bonus and uh, look at that. Boom. Pretty good. Kind of, kind of proud, kind of proud of that. <laughs> I don't know why. Doesn't really mean anything. But uh, yeah. Um, I need to figure out a bonus. I need to figure out a bonus for this thing today. Something, and it's not just about like, hey, what kind, what kind of crap can I come up with that I can give people? It's not what it's about. It's about what can I give that will really give fuel for promotion. Like, what can I give? on this last day that will really help affiliates sell the thing, right? Or help me sell the thing, right? Because this is kind of a higher ticket front end product, so I mean, I'm, I'm happy to sell it just as much as affiliates. So what kind of bonus can I put in there um, that can really help sell it? And the funny thing is, uh, you know, think about like, uh, right, let me show you guys something real quick. Look at this parking lot. And there ain't nobody here today. Holy crap. I'm the only one here today. You know what? Mental note. Don't launch anymore on holiday weekends. This is stupid. <coughs> Hot heads, burritos. Got me some lunch. I ain't gonna lose any weight eating this shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Tell you one thing. Um, I don't know. launch stressed me out man I'll tell you one thing I already got my next one planned out I don't want to say what it is I don't want to give it away <laughs> I will say this people It takes it takes a little work, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to do something interesting on blogs, on vlogs. When all you do is set at a computer to do your work. <laughs> it's funny. The actual work that gets done is just sitting at a computer. <laughs> but it's not really that interesting, so. I usually like to do videos and stuff when I go out, you know, just to do other stuff. But really, my life's not that exciting, to be honest. I don't really do a whole lot. Um, as you guys can see, the way my vlogs go, I eat, I work, hang out with my family. That's about it. The reason I don't, and I don't put my family on the videos... The reason I don't do that is because they're just little kids, man. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to put them in front of tons and tons of people. They're just little kids. When they get older, if they want to do YouTube and they want to be out there and get out there, then that's different, man. But I don't want to put them out there in the public eye, you know when they're just they're just innocent little kids you know I just I, I just don't for me that that's the way I feel I mean no judgment against anybody else who puts their kids on camera uh, does YouTube channels whatever they do uh, no judgment just for me I just didn't want to do it um, but uh and my wife doesn't really 
doesn't really want to be on my video. <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, I don't know. This is a good burrito, man. I used to like Chipotle better. I was playing in this band. I never even heard of Chipotle. I, I started playing in this band. It's like 2006, I think. A guitar player. My guitar player was like, Hey man, let's go to Chipotle. I'm like, Chipotle, what? What's that? Oh man, you're gonna love it, dude. It's killer. <laughs> so we went to Chipotle. We were recording in a studio. Went to Chipotle afterwards, and uh, yeah, it was good. It was real good. That's the first time I'd ever been there. Big Rob, my old guitar player, introduced me to Chipotle. And then, uh, I don't know, several several years later, I discovered about hot, hot heads. And then they opened up a Hot Heads not down the road, not too far from my house, so I eat there sometimes. I was supposed to just be eating fruit today, man. But it's about 1.30. And I couldn't think of any good bonuses to put in my products, so I was like, man... Maybe eating all this fruits give me a mental block. Maybe I need to get some different kind of food in my system. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. The numbers on this product launch were about average for my normal stuff. difference is I put way way more work into this than just average but it's not over yet because I got a killer product so what I'm gonna do man I'm gonna reposition the sales page as a webinar and I'm gonna run some paid traffic to it I'll get mine don't worry I put way too much work into this one I just wanted to try this I just wanted to try this launch this way it wasn't a necessarily a success so but but uh it's cool i mean you can run it this way i mean i don't recommend you guys run it this way i don't recommend these new guys i don't recommend new guys running one of these reverse sales funnels i'll tell you that you will Mm-mm-mm. you probably get your ass handed to you, man, because it's not that easy. I mean, $197 on the front end, I should have known that already, and I did know it, but I felt like with the reverse sales funnel, I felt like a lot of the traffic wouldn't buy it, but they'd get caught in my downsell funnel, because I had a, a, a funnel attached to the downsell. And that happened, that was true to an extent, but... I thought my downsell funnel would catch more traffic, I guess. I guess that's kind of what I thought. I mean, you got to try new things. You, you got to try and, and see how it goes. Um, i try it again. I'd try the reverse sales funnel again, but I'm not going to try it again for a while. I really have to think about it and see what I want to change because I wouldn't try it again just the way it is. That's a good burrito, man. Got some steak on it. Black beans. Lettuce. Pico. I don't put rice on my burritos, man. I don't get any rice on there. Black beans. Pico. Steak. Fajitas. 
lettuce and cheese. Pretty simple. Basic. I could probably do it without the steak, honestly. Make a vegetarian, you know what I mean? Probably be better. Be healthier for me. Mmm. That's good. And then, this is Pepsi. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna get back to the office, man. I gotta get this bonus created and uh, and get it get it done. I'll see you guys. Hey, what is up, what is up? How's everybody doing out there today? This fine, fine Memorial Day. It is 3.28 p.m., it is Monday. Uh, I just wanna talk about my launch a little bit with you guys. Uh, I wanna talk to you about the third bonus I just added to the download page of Affiliate Command 2017. I'm very excited about it. It's excellent. But today is the best, today is the best, man. So I've been talking to Mark Hess, man. I talked to Mark Hess, now, you guys, know about Marquez? Marquez uh, developed software, right? So um, one of the products that Marquez developed, one of, the, one of the pieces of software that he did was called Download Express, okay? And Download Express is this really cool WordPress plugin, and it allows you to lock down pages, and it integrates with Warrior Plus, and it integrates with JVZoo, and it integrates with all these payment processors, and like it allows you to lock down pages and people will enter their email that they use to purchase the product to get access to the product. It's a really cool plugin. I use it for all my launches. I use it for my membership program. It's a great, great plugin. And when I did membership dons, um, when I did membership dons, I talked about Download Express and membership dons. When I did the, the week 11 membership programs uh, week inside Affiliate Command 2017, I talk about Download Express again, how highly I think of the plugin. So I was talking to Mark uh, today and I was like, hey man, is there any way I could get some kind of bulk rate, man? I'd just like to buy this plugin for everybody who bought my course. Everyone who buys my course, Affiliate Command 2017, I'd just like to buy this plugin for them. So Mark was gracious enough uh, to offer me a bulk rate. Uh, so I went ahead and purchased this plugin for everybody who picks up Affiliate Command. It's on the download page right now. For everybody who picks it up, it's a special edition copy. It's got the, you know, the Epic Conversions logo on it. Uh, special edition copy just for you guys who picked up um, Affiliate Command 2007. Late, late, late. It's about 12.30 at night on the fourth day of my launch. My launch ends in nine hours at 9 a.m. It's going to be all over. I'm just wrapping things up just got done storming outside. It was a baby storm, it wasn't bad, but you know what, it was a nice breeze blowing through, felt good. Um, let me show you guys where I'm at here. All right, so here we go. I'm sitting at number two right now on the Warrior Plus network. That's really kind of pretty good, man, honestly, um, for being a uh, last day of the launch here. You know, for $197 front-end product, I mean, I can't complain at all. Um, I got nothing to complain about. Um, let see, $12.99 in revenue today. Um, 14 sales. 9.73 yesterday. Forty-three thirty-eight in total in revenue. Eighteen seventy-eight paid out to affiliates. Great, great. Can't complain. That's it, guys. It's been a hell of a weekend. I'm glad to. I'm glad to put this one to bed. Um, like I said, I think I had some unrealistic expectations for this, 
Um, I think I was a little too personally involved in the course, a little too wrapped up in it. Um, you know, just put my heart and soul into the damn thing. And I think uh, there was no way I wasn't going to be disappointed. So I really can't complain. I think this all worked out really good for having a strange reverse sales funnel like it did and getting these kind of results. It's good. It's good. I'll be back tomorrow with a, with a final wrap up. Thanks, guys. We just went out of launch phase on Affiliate Command 2017. It is about 9.06. I just took this thing out of launch phase. As you can see, the prices went up to 3.97. And uh, we're done, man. Launch is over. Um, today, before we closed, uh, eight sales. 672 in revenue. Uh, this one brought in $5,010 um, over the last four days. So, pretty okay. Not too bad. Um, 332 paid to affiliates today. Um, yeah, cool. Um, that's it for the Affiliate Command 2017 launch cycle. And uh, I'll be back, guys, with some final thoughts. You know what? I wanted to shoot this. I wanted to shoot this last video at the uh, this park here. I think it's cool, and this is where we started this whole thing four days ago. But the problem is, it's really windy out here, so I might have to. I might have to finish this up in my van. <clears throat> you guys see these trees behind me? Pretty cool. I, I think that. You know, I've been hanging out in this little central park here in my town for the last few days. And it's funny because I'm, I'm just starting to realize the amount of thought that they put into this tiny little space. I mean, <clears throat> this is maybe like one block. And they took it and they created this space. And uh, it's really amazing what they did with it. I can tell they put a lot of thought into it, you know. And it's funny because it kind of reminds me of this launch that I just did. I put a lot of thought into this launch as well. Alright guys, um, so this is uh, Tuesday, the day after my four day launch for Affiliate Command 2017. Basically, <clears throat> I started this launch off being really, really excited about it. I put a lot of time and effort into it. <clears throat> Probably got a little too close to it personally, just because I put so much into it. It was a huge deal to get it done. A uh, three month process probably to get it all done. So I, I built it up. I put it up on this pedestal and I didn't realize I'd put it up on such a pedestal. And then when it started launching, uh, it, you know, I was, it, there was virtually no way that I wasn't going to be disappointed. Uh, I didn't realize that at the time but so I started off really excited then I kind of moved into this phase where I was like just completely uh, crushed man crushed uh, tried to take those emotions put them aside focus on the marketing stuff of what I needed to do what I would do in this situation if I was advising someone else uh, what I would tell them to do uh, so I tried to separate myself a little bit, but it was at that low point that I realized how close I was to this damn thing, you know. But anyways, um, and then you know after I after I dealt with it for you know a few days there, towards the last day of the launch, and uh, now today, I will say that um, I'm good, man. I'm good. I can't complain about the launch. Um, it did pretty good. It, it made over five thousand dollars in revenue in four days. Um, so I can't complain that's pretty good um, what I will say is uh, I think the reverse sales funnel is kind of an advanced maneuver um, I, I, I would say that like I wouldn't recommend newbies try that uh, 
I mean, sometimes, you know what, man? It's, it's kind of like what Mike Tyson said. You know, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. <laughs> and the thing about it is, as a newbie, you can have a plan and it seems great and the science looks amazing, but what are you gonna do when you get punched in the mouth? A lot of times, newbies won't know what to do. They get punched in the mouth, they see their plan crumbling, and then they don't know what else to do. You take a guy like me who's been doing this for a while, it's not my first launch, so I got punched in the mouth and I was able to kind of like regroup and figure out what I needed to do. I mean, I adjusted my sales page during this launch uh, two or three times. Um, I. I continue to put out launch week bonuses uh, throughout this launch. I continue to market my ass off throughout this launch. Um, it felt kind of like it was a little bit harder to get sales than when I launched with like a $7 product on the front end. Um, the results were comparable. Uh, the results were, they were comparable. Um, you know, and I, I think that, um, I think that the reverse sales funnel is, is a, it could be a good tactic. Um, it, it's going to be a much better tactic, um, I think, if you have an audience. If you don't have an audience and you're trying to build a list, this is not a good tactic for you. Okay, it's not. It's not a good tactic because what's going to happen is, even if you make the same amount of money that you would normally make with a traditional launch funnel, you are not going to have as many emails. Um, you're just not. You know. So what's going to happen is you're not going to make any money as much money off the back end. Um, that being said, the emails you do have are going to be extremely valuable. All those emails that you have, they've spent $197 to be in your thing or whatever high ticket price you put on it. So those are extremely valuable emails. One could say you have really cut to the quick. You really cut to the quick and took the cream of the crop first. You could say that. Uh, but I will say like I had a $10 product on the front end last time I launched and crashed the party, had 500 people pick it up, all right? This time, I had a, it's a high ticket item on the front, I had a down sell for 10 bucks off the front, and it was 50 people picked it up. So, now, did uh, Affiliate Command make more money than Crash the Party? Slightly, it made slightly more money than Crash the Party. But did it really make more money in the long run? Over the next three months, Crash the Party probably made me double what it made during launch uh, because of those emails that I put on my list. Whereas Affiliate Command, I didn't put as many emails on the list. And in fact, with Affiliate Command, I still have 11 weeks of coaching in front of me, 11 weeks of group coaching. So for the next 11 weeks, I'm committed to every single Friday uh, to teaching people how to do stuff. Which is fine, I love to teach people, but still you have to understand that's a commitment. And let's say I just spend an hour of my time doing that. Um, and let's just say I charge $97 an hour. So you could say, um, look, that's another $1,000 worth of my time I'm spending um, with affiliate command students. Which is fine, I, and I love doing it, but when you subtract that from what I earned, then it starts becoming, hmm, was this really worth it? I don't know. It just depends on what you want to do. Now, now what I what I would say is this. Number one, it's not a newbie strategy. That's for sure. Don't do it if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Stick to something that's tried and true that works. If you don't know how to adjust in the middle of a launch, if you don't know how to recover from being punched in the mouth, don't do it. It's not going to work. Don't do it if you don't have an audience. It's not going to work. Um, because you're not going to have a lot of affiliate support. Um, and then the third thing I would say is um, don't be discouraged from trying new things. It doesn't matter what I'm saying right now. The, here's what I want you to understand. I tried it because I wanted to do new things. I, I, want, I wanted to challenge the norm. I wanted to step outside the box. Um, and when you step outside the box, sometimes you're going to fail but you're always going to learn, right? And I learned a lot with this product, right? I learned a lot. I challenged myself. I learned a lot about adjusting. I learned a lot about what I could do to get someone to buy something on the front end that was expensive when they really didn't know me. Um, I learned a lot. I learned about a lot about what it takes to get affiliates to get on board with something like this. Um, you know, I learned a lot. Uh, so it was very, very, uh, enlightening for me to do this launch. Um, 
for people out there watching this, um, you know, always try new stuff. Try new stuff. You know, take your shots, take your risks, uh, take your chances. Um, you know, disrupting the norm is a good thing. Um, it's also a good thing to pay attention to the science of things. All in all, I think it was a pretty good success. I could have got my ass handed to me, and I didn't. It was um, not bad. It could have been a lot worse. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like, please share, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. You're watching Zero Fast Returns. Peace.